It's the Angel Encourager, Pete Gossaboon. How's everybody doing? Oh, people have already joined me. How are you doing tonight? So I want to talk about something. Hey, Conforman, how are you doing? I want to talk about something. Stephanie, how are you doing? Let's talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. And that's about stopping the cycle of abuse. And hey, Mathena, how are you doing today? So this is something that I really see. Hi, Delita, how are you doing? So many of my clients going through. Hi, how are you doing, Stephanie? So good to see you. Hi, Mathena. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So what, I t what I'm talking about is that in past generations, people really didn't have a way to release negative energy. They didn't have a way to release the abuse and the stresses and the things that they went through in their family or in life in general. And so many times the children became the repository for the, you know, the, the, the negative energy and the, and the things that they just couldn't get rid of, you know, the failure and the, the anger and the angst and the sadness. So much of it just you know, went to the children. And in this generation, we are being called forth, or a lot of us are being called forth, to be that stopgate, to be that dam between the pressures of what has been before and saying, no longer will the abuse continue into the next phase. And that's kind of can be kind of a tricky spot to be in, you know, when you're in that space where you really don't have that clear cut example, you know, of, of how do you live a life without forwarding that abuse when what you've seen in the past. Hi, Eduardo. How you doing? I think, so thank you for thankful for you joining us tonight. So it's it's I just want number one for everyone that feels that that, in, that they're in that situation. Makeup maniac. How you doing? to know that you are not alone, that so many of us, uh, oh, thank you for, for inviting, and thank you, KI59, that's so nice of you to come. Uh, so it's very, it, I want you to first, I want you to celebrate and know that in the space that you're at, where you feel like you're being the vanguard, where you feel like you're being the one that's stopping the abuse and not allowing it to go forth, to just realize, number one, that you're not alone in that and how powerful and strong you, know, you are in being able to do that. And it's just, you know, so wonderful and inspiring, you know, to see so many of us, you know, in this space, but it can get, it can feel a little bit, my word is jinky. <laughs> and so many people are like, what is that word? Hi, Julian, how you doing? So with angelic help, we can absolutely stand strong and, you know, know that we can move forward. You know, so many of us, I know for me, especially, you know, I used TV as my way of knowing, you know, what is a healthy family because I had nothing really to refer to and we can absolutely step into your know, angelic realm to help us to understand you know what is healthy and what is not healthy so one of the first archangels hi how you doing <laughs> uh, hey donovan um the first one that you can really call forth uh is really the main go-to for just about everybody and that's archangel michael and that's about helping us to stand strong in where we are and for us to be you know feel protected hi marshall how you doing and the next one I would really call forth would be Archangel Raziel. He's the one, I call him the alchemist. He's the one that helps us to take, you know, past memories and be able to turn them into opportunities, to take, you know, hurts from before and turn them into today's wisdom. So it's really, you know, there's so many, um, sorry, somebody was just texting me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I was being mindful of something else. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, and it's really about, and also Archangel uh, Jophile is actually coming forward. She would like to be acknowledged as well. She's the Archangel of Beauty. She helps us to declutter ourselves and to bring in beauty. And that can even be in our inner spaces, in our mind, as far as you know, decluttering what we have up there and, and being able to uh, bring in form and function and beauty into our spaces. Hi, so Alabama. Into our minds, into our cars, into our business lives as well. So, it, so much I want you to first realize that you aren't the only one out there. And, and I would like to hear anybody that shout out if they feel like they're the generation that's stopping the abuse. If you feel like you're the generation that's having to say, no longer is this abuse going to be carried forth to the next generation. I'm going to be the one that now deals healthily with their children. And so many of my clients are coming forth with different things like um, cancers and uh, even epilepsy and lupus and a lot of the other autoimmune diseases and yeah, and you know they're coming forward with these different types of um, things in their body that are almost like combating them and, and even coming out in pusses and sores on the on the skin and it's these it's these eruptions and it's these 
uh, these energies that are being held into them that are not theirs, you know, that have come from this family system that are expressing themselves in all these different types of ways. You know, it's, it's so important to see if you can try to learn how to, hi John, how you doing? To really release these energies. And the number one thing to realize is that this is not your energy. This is something that's been passed down to you from the past generation or the generations before. And it's so much easier to release stuff when it's not your stuff. <laughs> so first off is to realize that it's not your stuff. You know, if you if you if it's expressing in you in some way, it can even be expressing in you in depression and anxiety. You know, it doesn't have to just be expressing itself in your body. It can be expressing itself in all kinds of different ways. It can even be expressing itself in like if you are not able to bring in the abundance into life that you want, or you're not able to find that you know soulmate that you're really looking for. Or there's just some part of your life that you really feel blocked, and it's because of those expectations that have been passed down to you from from you know people from from generations before if you're not good enough you can't achieve this or oftentimes it's very much this family guilt of you know you're not supposed to be more successful you know than, than perhaps your parents were or your, your siblings were are right now you know it's you know perhaps you're one of the younger siblings and you know, there's this, been this tradition and it's always been the tradition where the oldest sibling was actually usually the the wealthiest because they were the ones that got the land and <laughs> absolutely uh, and so it, it's about it's about realizing that that you know you can be or do or have anything you want you you have the you have the the right you have the the privilege you know being whoever you are and just to realize that that's their stuff you let them have their stuff and you have your stuff and not be looking at them at or their happiness to bring you happiness because a lot of times you know when we go forth when we go onward from where our family systems have been, you know, we start getting all this, um, we, we start getting all this judgment and everything. And it's not judgment of you, it's actually judgment of them because as they see you succeed and you becoming happy and joyful, you know, then that really kind of puts the spotlight onto them as to, you know, why wasn't I able to do this? Well, that's their stuff, you know, and if they're still alive, then they absolutely have the chance to change their life around into any way they can, but that's their thing. You can't want it more than they than they want it. You know they want they have to want it at least as much as you want it for them before they will change. So it's really important. You know when you won't feel like you need to help somebody, you don't reach down to help them because when you reach down to help them, what happens? You get off balance, and it's really easy to pull you off of, off of balance. And to realize that when you're trying to do that, when you're trying to reach down to help somebody, what you're telling them is you are powerless. And you are unable to do it on your own, and therefore I'm going to facilitate you. So really see how it's not really coming out of love. The best way to come out of love is for you to be the shining example of joy and bliss and success and abundance and happiness and just call them forth. That's what I say even in my little promo, knowing who you are, calling you forth. And I'm not bending down to pick you up. I'm showing you the joy and the peace and love and the tranquility that is possible and I'm calling you forth to it. And it's just about you know, stepping into that and, and you know, not, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you love it. <laughs> so I want for all of you, I want for every single one of you to be able to step into joy and peace and love and not let those family systems or even those societal systems to hold you back. You know, because maybe there's a certain particular, you know, country that you came from or a particular color that you are, or a particular gender that you are, or particular sexual orientation or age or, you know, whatever it is, or hair color, who knows? You know, there's so many different ways that we egoically define ourselves that supposedly hold ourselves back. And none of that is true. You can find somebody that matches any of that criteria and even more that has gotten what they want out of life starting from any situation so that just debunks that right there so just know that you have the you have the, the privilege you have the right to be whoever it is and if you do right now feel like you're standing there as the as the wall holding back the negative energies from the years before and not allowing it to go forward I want you to acknowledge that I want you to know that you're not alone in it and I want you to celebrate the strength that you are now exhibiting and just be proud of yourself for that because that is going to be passed down into generations upon generations 
you know, passed, you know, they, the Bible even says the sins of the forefathers, you know, were passed on to the children. And I believe that's really what it's talking about is that, you know, that so much of, uh, so much in the past has been dumped onto the children of, of, you know, before and of today. And you have, and so many of you, and I think everybody in this room has decided that you are going to be the word, you're going to be the wall that stops. I made a very clear decision when I had my daughter back when I was in my 20s that the abuse was going to stop with me. And I was by myself and I wasn't even all that spiritual. I really wasn't spiritual at all at that time. And, you know, it was, it was just a clear decision I made that, you know, in some way, and I didn't know how to be a father. I had, because I had never had a father. You know, I didn't even really know, you know, how to even express a motherly love because I really didn't, <laughs> I was almost born in the wild of being the change and not, absolutely, that's absolutely. And I'm so proud of you, Matina. I know you have, I've spoken to you many times. And I completely feel that energy from you. And that's fabulous. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so proud of everybody here in this room, you know, that has decided to do that. I'm not going to talk long tonight because I have been working with different clients today. My voice is kind of going out. I think you can probably tell that. Uh, but I would like to uh, ask everybody to, if you would, go to my Facebook page, The Angel Encourager. I actually have a poll on there that's asking you, you know, what is it about the Archangels that you most want to know about? I would love for you to take the poll. I'd love for you to contact me there. You can totally message me there. You can sign up for my free newsletter that comes out every Sunday. I don't even know what it's going to be on. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so uh, please connect with me. Let me know any way that I can help you in any way. And uh, I want you to also know that uh, within, I think, a month, I'm going to be having a, my brand new website come out. I'm going to be doing some different promotions, and I've got some different products I'm putting out there, and some meditations. Perhaps you can even tell me some different guided meditations that you'd like to do. Uh, it's really interesting. I've been doing guided meditations for you know people from time to time, and I did one for a lady on uh, Archangel Zadkiel with perfect memory, and she was taking the bar, and she has told me at least five times how it pretty much was me that helped her pass the, pass the bar. And I'm not taking that on as I did it, but it, it just helped her to stay in that mindful state of where, you know, she didn't think it was all going to be here in her brain. And she was able to stay in that, that sympathetic zone, as I say, in that relaxed zone while she took the test. And that way she had clear cut connection. <laughs> oh, you love my Paisley shirt? <laughs> this is my favorite shirt. It's the first time I've ever worn it to work. I wore a Paisley shirt yesterday, if you remember. And everybody here remarked, I was like, well, I got a shirt for you to see then. If you think that one was cool, you got to see this one. <laughs> so absolutely, somebody said that they would love a meditation. If you'd put on my Facebook page, if you send me a message, um, you know, of what you would like it to be on, because uh, I am going to be starting to develop some different products. Um, and so, oh, Gypsy in the City, you'd love it. I Great. Alrighty. So tell me about, you know, I, I want really like specific meditations on specific things, whether it's, you know, finding the perfect uh, mate, whether it's, you know, looking for the right house, whether it's, you know, getting the right job, whether it's abundance, whether it's health, whether it's, you know, being able to study for an exam, whatever, whatever it is, it, it can, I, the more specific, the more I would love it. So if you will do that for me, I would absolutely be so thankful and so grateful and my eyes are about to close right now, and I'm about 20 minutes from home, so I have to be able to make sure I have enough energy to get myself home. <laughs> oh, cool. And uh, I promise that I will connect again soon, and I love all of you. I want you to know the angels <laughs> love you so much. I can't even express to you how much the angels just adore each and every one of you. I want you to have love, peace, and release. Talk to you soon.